My name's Dr. Willard Wigan, MBE. I was honoured for my services to art at Warwick University plus uh, Buckingham Palace because of my work. My work is, is uh, seen all over, known all over the world. I create the smallest sculptures in history and I've also broken a world record again. I broke my first record and then broke another one. Um, my work is, is, is very unusual for a lot of people. I've just finished a sculpture, my latest one, of Alice in the eye of a needle and it's called Alice through the looking glass and she's looking very confused through the eye of a needle. The sculpture is a lot smaller than a full stop in a newspaper. The eyes are smaller than blood cells. She, isn't have, she, she even has fingernails. She has a, a typical traditional uh, Alice dress and little shoes which I've made and put on. Um, it took me about three and a half weeks to, to, to achieve this working 18 to 16 hours a day. I'm very proud of what I've achieved. The Alice one is done in almost like cartoon form. I could have made it look like how a person really looks, but I've actually put a lot of colour into it and fun so kids can enjoy it. When I was five years old, I started making houses for ants, furniture, anything, little shoes, bicycles. I'd even try and make you know, tables and chairs, which I did, I achieved it. But as a, when my mother seen it, my mother would always say to me that the encouragement was, you go smaller and your name is going to get much, much bigger. So, having come into an autistic background, it, it sort of, as soon as people seen it and said it was good, it turned into an obsession for me to go smaller and smaller and smaller. And and it's, it's in a way, it's a, it's a lesson. It, it made me realise that, um, we underestimate people with, with, with uh, learning differences because they think that, the most people think that they don't have anything to, to show or to prove or, to, or to, to achieve. But I, I, I'm a testimony of what can be achieved with someone who, who has this condition. It, it's like a, a marathon for me and I've actually achieved the, the, the result. By, by, by reaching the top of the mountain and I'm still climbing to go even smaller still because it's just something that that's within me. It was something I, I never really thought of it when I was a kid thinking about it was going to be a career. I did it because I could. When I used to make sculptures, on, I used to carve on toothpicks and I used to show the kids and all the kids in the school were fascinated about it. They used to turn up in drones and say, oh, can we see those little things on the sticks? Can we see those little things? Well, you, everybody will be able to see my latest exhibition in Birmingham. This one will be a touring exhibition, and this one will be at the, at, um, the uh, sorry, Sutton Cofield Town Hall, which starts at the 26th of April. And you'll be able to see, they'll be able to see 25 of my smallest, some of my smallest pieces and also the, the world record which I have, which is the babe inside a human hair. Uh, people are not going to believe what they're going to see. Those who haven't seen my work are going to be in for a, a bit of a surprise. I started showcasing my, and my work all, all over the UK and, and Birmingham especially was, was one of the places where I started off at the mailbox in Birmingham and it, it, just, it just blossomed from there and, and now I'm, I realise what I've achieved and I just keep getting better.